tale of two ambitious men entangled by crime, obsession, and legend. I'm Lisa Collins for Hollywood.com. Join us for the New York City premiere of The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. I mean, we certainly take a more um, human breakdown of the man. And a guy was really wrestling with himself and, and felt the, um, the end coming and uh, didn't really know how to get out from under. But um, I think that the movie kind of represented it in a different, much different way. So it's a good guy, a bad guy, hero, a coward, a lot of different things. So, um, and I really enjoyed that about the, the screenplay. Gosh, I mean, Jesse James, when I first heard about him, I think I must have been like six or something like that. I think I'd probably just seen, you know, some other kind of like shoot 'em up movie on like some Western on TV and heard something about Jesse James. He always seemed like you know, kind of a neat character, kind of like, I mean, there's that, that sort of mythological quality of somebody who's... You know, is he bad? Is he good? I, I, I mean, I love that about people that there's, you know, there's a divide. You can have a great, a great family life and and maybe be nasty to other people, or maybe you can be really great in the world and you can be terrible at home. And I think that you know a lot of people are struggling with that. With so many films and so much hap- that happen so quickly in our society today, it's nice that there are films that, that you know, that take their time, that that really go into great character study and long sweeping moments and and. You know, lots of scenes where the actors aren't just getting information out, but they're thinking and they're feeling. And so I think, not just for a Western, I think for film, it's just nice to not always have the ones that are quickly shot, shoot them up loud. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of poetry. Now, did Casey Affleck sort of blossom on set um, and get to even deeper levels than you when you first started working with him? No, well, you see, I mean, I have the benefit of not really knowing much of Casey's previous work, do you know what I mean? He just sort of came in and uh, he was just really amazing. You know, Casey, like, came in and he read for it and it was like a, like a guy singing an aria and he was, you know, just beautiful and uh, it was fairly simple, you know, so I'm not really aware of, like, the outer perception of Casey, do you know what I mean? Do you think we have any modern-day Jesse Jameses or in today's climate if somebody like that? I... I, I um... I, I really don't know who to compare that to at this point, you know, because um, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, those people end up in jail. Well, it's a different world now, you know what I mean? It's very hard to kind of like, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, hide, you know. But yeah, I mean, like, people have always worshipped, you know, bad men and, do you, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's nothing new. A little dirty. A little dirty. They always, they, they always put on a certain attitude when they get those guns. They always have to look out for them when they get those guns. We got Brad, we got Angelina, and even a drive-by with George. Thank you for joining us at Hollywood.com. I'm Lisa Collins 